It's a huge city. It's right up there. It's right up there with Vienna, Berlin, Paris. I mean, it's it's extraordinary. It's a forgotten city. Um, this is a place of deep culture. This is a place that had one of the great mathematical universities in the world. This is a place that has a, law, a university that is older than Harvard. This is a place of philosophers and scientists, of readers and of writers. Um, this is a place of the deepest possible culture. It is one of the great cities of the world, and it has fallen off the beaten track. The reason that it's fallen off the beaten track is that for 50 years, from 1945 to 1991, it was a closed city. It was behind the Iron Curtain. As a Westerner, you weren't allowed to go there. And so those fortunate people who first arrived in the mid-1990s, when the Soviet Union fell apart, when Ukraine achieved true independence, they found a city that was basically unchanged from the end of the Second World War. And still today, it has that same feel. Um, it's, it's not a rich city today in a, in, a, in a financial sense. It's a struggling city. Um, it has few funds. Um, it needs help. It needs tourists. They're beginning to come. Uh, they're not coming from North America, and they're not coming from Britain. Uh, there's some from Poland. There's some from Germany. There's some from Russia. But um, if you were to get on a plane tonight and you were to – you can't fly direct. It's a real pain to get to. You go to Krakow, and then you take a connecting flight, or you fly to Munich, and a connecting flight, or Vienna – you would get out. They built this new fancy airport, very modern airport. I, I actually preferred the older airport, which was called Snil Lviv, built in 1923. I can guarantee you, you take a cab into the center of the city and two things would happen to you. You would instantly feel amazed at what you are looking at and where you are. And you would instantly fall in love with the city. Guaranteed both things. <laughs> 